Hi, this is Michael Pizer, and this is Trailers from Hell. Children of Paradise, Les Enfants de Paradis, is one of the greatest films of all time. It is a love story beyond uh, comprehension and complication, but it's also a love story and a to the theater and to performers and to people who are in the lively arts. Um, but it was made during the Second War, World War, during the Nazi occupation of France, in Paris and in Nice. And it was a very important picture uh, that was finished just as uh, the war was ending and was released just after um, the war ended in Europe. At where there really wasn't, so it became a very important picture there, and it was the first big French film to come out in the States and was promoted as the French Gone with the Wind. The massive street scenes of Children of Paradise were created and the size and scope of the movie. It takes place in the French theater of the 1840s and is about a group of people, including the great mime, uh, Jean-Louis Barrault, who plays uh, Baptiste, who is a mime, and you could hate mimes, but uh, in this case, he really is quite wonderful, and his performance is captured. That's Le Maitre, which is, who is a dandy of an actor, and uh, Arletti, who plays Garance, who is the beautiful woman. There's Pierre Renoir, who plays the sort of scoundrel of the piece, who wanders about sort of in a Dickinsonian way around Paris in skullduggery, but there's our Letty who only had one name and was truly the great beauty of France. Uh, the war probably took her fame away. She was a great star. There's Barreau doing his performance with on the street. He was a street performer who becomes the Michael Jackson of the, the biggest guy ever. Two guys love one woman who can't really decide whether she loves anybody other than herself, she being an actress. So it's pretty, pretty good. Um, as the character Frederic Lemaitre says, uh, jealousy belongs to all if a woman belongs to no one. And so it is a piece about uh, everybody desiring Garance but not being able to have her What's cool about this movie is it has great size and scope because the French film industry was hiding everybody from the Nazis and they put them to work. And the idea was, let's get everybody to work on this movie. So thousands upon thousands of French film workers worked on it. It has that sort of epic quality. It is a great story of love and deceit, as you can see. And it, actually the production designer, the composer, and several others were Jews who were not allowed to work on the movie, who had to be literally hidden and provide their work on it. But it ha ends with one of these great street scenes where they built this, uh, I think, six-block double-sided set of Paris 1840, the theater district. and. Uh, it has extras going all the way and the camera moves through it and they rehearsed it for a week. They kept the production going as long as possible. Basically, the production of the movie was a stall to keep everybody from being sent to work camps. What's surprising is, even though it satisfied uh, all of those uh, things for to protect the people and create an industry during Vichy France, it is truly one of the great stories and storytelling pieces of all time. Don't miss Children of Paradise, a tri-color release.